Okay, so here we have a problem where we're given an expression and we're given variables in the expression and here they tell us right, the value of A and the value of B. So essentially when they say the value of this expression when A equals this and B equals that, they're asking you to plug these in to the equation. So it says negative absolute value of A minus B and what do we know? We know A equals 7. So I'm going to rewrite this. This is right, negative absolute value of 7 minus negative 3. And really what they're hoping or checking for here, I should say, is that you don't just change this to a positive, right? Just because you see absolute value, which just means the distance from 0, and just because the absolute value turns everything to a positive result, because distance must always be positive, doesn't mean it turns this equation into a plus. In fact, what you want to do is evaluate this expression in here. 7 minus negative 3. Well, that's 10, right? Because you're adding 3. Then you take the absolute value of 10, and then you inverse that, or multiply it by negative 1, or some people might say, take the negative. Same thing. So the absolute value of 10 is 10, and the inverse of that, or multiply it by negative 1, we get negative 10. So here we should get choice 1. Thanks.